Captain Wunsch, good to see you. But if you're here, who's guarding Hades? Why don't you wait a week? You'll probably die of old age. The only way I'm gonna die is if you touch me with one of your bony fingers and drag me across the river Styx, you reaper. I wondered why all the birds had suddenly stopped singing. Care to sit? I'm sure you'd like to take some weight off your cloven hooves. Calling me the devil? How original, Raymond. Actually, I was calling you a goat. You goat. Oh. <laughs> it's a pity a truck hasn't run over your head. Ugh. May I? Those are my tissues, Raymond. If you were planning on sneezing, you should have brought your own. And what do you hope to get out of this, Madeline? Let me guess. Revenge on Dorothy for killing your sister. I want the same as you, Raymond. I thought surely you'd still be crushed under that house in Munchkinland. Sticks and stones, Raymond. I wanted to give you this. Wicked, starring Beth Danube. Well played, Raymond. The big secret about Captain Holt is that I have a flair for the dramatic. Look behind you, Madeline. <coughs> we're actually in front of you. That's my fault. I thought the layout was going to be different. Didn't know how you guys were going to be sitting. I took a chance. Miller may be in internal affairs, but he wasn't here on official business. You sent him to spy on us. That's a flagrant ethics violation, Madeline, and it could sink you. Fine, you're right. But you can't prove that. It's just your word against mine. Ooh, actually, it's your word against you. Pardon me? I put a recording device in this dope drive, so I got your whole conversation. You are going to leave my precinct and my task force alone, or else you're wunch meat. You sure you want to go with that one? Absolutely. It's hilarious. All right. Deputy Chief Wunch is here to see you. Oh, please stay, Diaz. I need a witness in case her head starts spinning around or she turns into a she-wolf. Hello, Raymond. No flaccid rejoinder. Hmm. What's going on? I'm here on important business. I'm a front runner for a job in the Boston PD. Boston? But it's so close to Salem. You do know what they do to witches up there, don't you? This is amazing. The job is chief of police. I see. So you've come to brag. No. The only blemish on my record is our long history of interpersonal turbulence. The Boston Commissioner would like to speak with you about it. I've come to ask for your help. The Commissioner will be wait, calling wait, you. Oh, moment savored. So, where were we? Ah, yes, you were talking about how I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. You thought I cost you that promotion because you're gay? That's what you've been mad about all these years? It's one reason. I don't care that you rejected my advances. Your sexual identity is the one thing I actually respect about you. Then what are you mad about? I'm mad because you tried to get me thrown off the force. Yeah, because you shot me. I shot you because you were in the wrong position. You weren't following orders. What about the time you destroyed my personnel file while I was undercover? What if there'd been a mole? You were trying to make me disappear. You embarrassed me in front of Derek Jeter. You embarrassed yourself in front of Derek Jeter. Trent Price, where are we with the name? We've narrowed it down to two choices, Petey or Polly. With all due respect, that pigeon is clearly a Ray J. Hi, Gina Linetti, the human form of the 100 emoji. I'd like to hear Captain Holt's thoughts on a name. Very well, my thoughts are, who cares? Give us a name, Raymond. Weigh in on this, it's your job now. No. A name, Petey or Polly, which is it? What does it matter? Why'd you even choose a pigeon anyway? It's a terrible mascot. Because they're a staple of New York. They're non-threatening and they're everywhere. They're carriers of disease and they eat garbage. Name the pigeon, Raymond. You can't make me. I can make you and I will. Name the pigeon. That's an order. Polly. Thank you. Was that so hard? We believe someone is after the missing 21 million, and solving this murder could lead us to the money. Sure, but that money's like 25 years old. It's probably not even good anymore. This is a very important case, Raymond. To me and to the city of New York. I'm not sure the 99 has the resources to deal with something of this magnitude. I understand the politics. This is a high-profile case. Do what you must. What I was going to say is, since you don't have the resources, I'll give you anything you need. The case is yours, you have my full support. What? He meant that more excited, like, what? Hello, Deputy Chief Wunsch. You've aged. Wunsch got served. Oh my God, 
Wunch sounds like lunch. Oh, this opens up so many new avenues. You got your task force. I'm surprised. That's funny. After 20 years, I think you'd be used to me slam dunking in your face. I'm surprised you didn't see what was going on in there. I got you riled up, you oversold giggle pig, and now you're running an expensive task force at a time of budget cuts. You better make some big arrests and quick, or you'll be the poster boy for departmental waste. Slam dunk returned. Not if we make those arrests. Three point dunk. You guys really don't know enough about basketball to be doing this. Raymond. Madeline. You won. Go ahead and gloat, you toad. Thank you for this honor, Deputy Chief. Oh. OK. You're welcome. Lunch time is over. Boom, did it. <laughs> Had it both ways. No regrets. Madeline, thank you for coming. Raymond, always a pleasure to call on a vanquished foe. I feel like Jackie Joyner Kersey congratulating one of the other slower runners. Buckle up. It's going to be a hell of a ride. I'd like to talk about my promotion. Very well. But first, how do I know you're not wearing a wire? I need to pat you down. If you must. What is going on? I'm watching something. Yeah! <laughs> 21 million dollars, Raymond. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Uh, sorry to disappoint you, Madeline. I know you'd hope we failed. Oh, no. I couldn't be happier. Wait. Why would you say that? And why aren't you clenching your little rat hands in anger? You didn't want me to fail. You wanted me to succeed. That's right. I was looking for an excuse to promote you to a desk job, and you handed it to me on a silver platter with your little rat hands. Oh, no. Say goodbye to the 9-9, Raymond. I'm making you head of NYPD Public Relations. Gentlemen, may I present to you the Suicide Squad. Hang on there, genius. You want us, your enemies, to help you bring down Commissioner Kelly? You guys consider me your enemy? You're some of my best friends. We haven't talked to you in like three years, CJ. Wait, yeah, I'm thinking of different guys. Oh, Raymond. That you came to me to ask for help shows how much you've matured. You know what else shows how much you've matured? Your withered face. Now I know why you refer to this as a Suicide Squad, Peralta, because I already want to kill myself. What John Kelly is doing is terrible. Yes, well said, Wunch. So we're all on board. This is exciting. Let's bring it in, huh? Suicide Squad on three. Ready? One, two. I don't touch other dudes' hands. This hand is sticky. Oh, that might be me. I ate a popsicle earlier. It's probably Madeline. Cockroaches release a mucus-like secretion. You would know about roaches, you roach. And three, Suicide Squad! <sighs> I smooth things over with Madeline, and she's agreed to rejoin the Suicide Squad. Oh, goody gumdrops. But do we even need her? What does she bring to the table? 30 years of police experience. I have 33. I earned a police combat cross. I have a Medal of Honor. I own the record for most arrests as a uniformed officer in NYPD history. You got me there. Of course, I I never spent much time in uniform because I was promoted to detective after one month. They're not allowed to do that. It's against the rules. It's also against the rules to let a pile of worms wear a uniform, and yet, here you stand. Okay, just stop. Look, sir, I've explained this. Once she's the only one that can get close to Kelly, we need her. Okay. The worm pile stays. Great. That was our last obstacle. Except for one other thing. I promised her that you would apologize for everything you've ever done to her. Including the Michelle Obama incident? Yes, she mentioned that specifically. I'm very curious what happened there. Oh, it's nothing, but fine. I'm sorry, Madeline, for everything. <laughs> Especially for pushing you into Michelle Obama from behind and then running away. What? Sure. It was very funny. Apology accepted. There's a policeman's ball tonight. I can plant the bug on Kelly there. And since you don't trust me, you can be my plus one. Oh, please. Everyone knows we're enemies. It would raise suspicion. Don't worry. I know just what to tell people. Madeline and I are now lovers. You move well. Must be all the extra legs you crab. Don't you find this exhausting? Thinking of fresh insults? Not at all, you coffin cave mole beetle. I meant our relationship. Aren't you tired of the rivalry? We fight and we fight and nothing changes. But we're really not so different. I suppose we were close once. Remember Brighton Beach? 1,200 kilos of heroin in an abandoned subway tunnel. How could I forget? The largest drug bust in NYPD history, pulled off by the most unlikely duo. A woman and a gay black detective. No, I meant a human and a rotted jack-o'-lantern. Don't be so hard on yourself. You weren't all the way rotted back then. 
There's John Kelly. Twirl me into him, and I'll place the bunk. Hello, John. Right on time, Madeline. Did Raymond buy it? Did he think you were bonding? He was smiling at me like an idiot. You've betrayed us, you coffin cave mold beetle. I knew I never should have trusted you. Yes, obviously not, you dumb dumb. John, you yeah, don't want to remember this. Why don't you snap a photo? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you get in there with him? Oh, why the heck not? My kids just got me a digital picture frame. All right, everybody say nine nine. Nine nine. Mm. Raymond, I love the scowl, but could you slump your shoulders a bit more? Remember, you're a man who just lost everything. And <sighs> done. We got it, Peralta. Boom! Are they totally shocked? Is Kelly like, what just happened? What just happened? You've been had, John. You see, when you handed me your unlocked phone just now to snap that photo, I cloned it to a secure network server. When you handed once your locked phone, Yeah, yeah, just... I already said that part. Sorry, I can't see or hear anything. I'll just be quiet from now on. I might chime in with a yeah here and there to stay in the mix. Great. The only way to get you to trust me is if you thought I was betraying Holt. Yeah! And now I have access to all your personal correspondence. All right! Including all Stingray authorizations. It's over, Kelly. You're done. OK. You may have won this round, Madeline, but you're going to live to regret it. You are both so going to live to regret it. OK, everyone, I have some news. The Madeline Wunsch is a Korean toilet ghost. Boring. We already knew that. Madeline Wunsch is dead. Say what now? Ding dong, the Wunsch is dead. Bagels for everyone. So I guess you believe it now. Yep. Want to see the selfies I took? Actually, yes. I'll share the album with you. Oh, my god. I just heard about Wunch. Wunch is dead. Bagel. 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 As many of you know, Madeline and I were bitter rivals. But I've come to realize she held a special place in my life. No one challenged me like she did or made me feel as alive. Our relationship was like an epic chess match. And it's hard to believe that she'll never make another move. Unless... No, she has a notification. She had his dog and toothpaste is shipped. So she is gone, and I wish she were not. I will miss you, Madeline Wunsch.